Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dr. Stacy's Q&A Health and Wellness Seminar. I am so excited to be here. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Laura Balzer. I'm a senior presidential director with LifeWave. I have been with LifeWave for three years, and I am super stoked to be hosting this event tonight. However, I know we're all missing Dr. Stacy, but she is on her way back from Europe. All of us are still trickling in from celebrating LifeWay's 20th anniversary. And I can tell you it was an absolute blast. So I'm ready to get started. But what I want to do before we get is to remind everybody a few things is even though we have many doctors and many types of doctors, parts of our teams, they are not your doctors. So we want you to always remember that the information that you're hearing here tonight is for educational purposes only. And we always want you to check with your specific practitioners, let them know what you're doing. And always, if you're pregnant or nursing, we want you also to please check with your practitioners um, before getting started on anything new. You know, when we come on here tonight, we're really never talking about specific diseases. We're always focus, focusing in on the symptoms of the things that the body's experiencing. So as you hear these two amazing women chat tonight, you'll hear the things that they're explaining and the things that they have, have walked through and where they are now using this wearable light technology. Um, so our guests here today, you are in for a real treat. And those of you who continue to come back over and over, we're so blessed that you continue to tune in and listen to all the amazing information that we are wanting to get out there as a team. So with that said, I'm excited to introduce to you guys our first guest. And I want to real quickly, Kim, I want you and I to right. come up here together. So all right be together. Um, and, and, you know, Kim, you and I have known each other for a little bit, and you've been on a few patching podcasts, you've shared your testimony before, but you're somebody who it just keeps on getting better and better and better, right? Yep. And so I've queued up some pretty good pictures. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that they'll show for you tonight. But Kim, introduce yourself, let everybody know where you live and give us a snapshot of what life was like before you started on this wearable light technology and what you continue to experience as time goes on. Okay, um, so good evening, everybody. I'm Kim McDermott. I live in Surprise, Arizona in a lovely little um, retirement community out here. I'm 68. Um, I am three weeks away from my one year anniversary with LifeWave. And I was one of the, I was kind of like a one patch wonder um, at first thinking that it was my imagination because my first patching party that I went to, I felt terrible. I didn't want to go, but I went anyway. And Laura was talking to us on the Zoom and Nancy patched us and I just started feeling really good. And I thought maybe it's because I'm having fun. Maybe it's because I'm enjoying everybody. But I went home thinking, oh my God, I feel great. Well, my biggest issue is fibromyalgia. I'm just telling you that, which makes me hurt all the time. And it has lots and lots of symptoms, which kind of accounts for a lot of other things I won't go into because it would be a very long list. Um, but I did feel great. And I noticed that I wasn't and this is right away. I wasn't waking up in the morning so stiff I couldn't get out of bed. I wasn't canceling plans because I didn't hurt. Um, I had a um, appointment with my back doctor to get another epidural because I have a bad back with degenerative discs. And I got to cancel that because I wasn't going to need that shot anymore. And the bursitis in my hips wasn't hurting anymore. And I had just gone to my um, naturopath for um, my six month blood work. Uh, she managed my hormones and it was always the same every six months, every six months. And I kept thinking, whatever I'm doing is not working. Well, I just started on the patches about a week after the, that blood work. And I thought, I'm going to give this five months and I'm going to go repeat the blood work. 
for the first time in probably 15 to 20 years, my blood labs were perfect. They were all the way across. And, you know, I had some things that were, you know, it was mostly inflammatory things that were not healthy for you. And they were gone. My calcium was good, everything. So I felt like that was a lot of the reason my back wasn't hurting. At the time that I um, started on the patches, I had had a little fall due to a torn tendon in my foot. And the doctor had said it was so badly torn, I was going to have to have surgery because there was no other way to fix it. And um, I fell and I broke some bones. And at the time I started on the patches, I had a cast on with some pins in my hand. And I had about probably three weeks to go in the cast before they were going to take the pins out because I had actually broken a knuckle vertically. So it was side to side like this. And um, I got up one day about, oh, I'm going to say about a week and a half into the patches. Not, And I'm not putting two and two together yet because it hadn't hit me. <laughs> but I, w I called my surgeon because I was in so much pain and I thought I had done something in my sleep to my cast or my hand or something. So I went into him and he took the cast off. He took an x-ray and he said, well, your bone has healed so fast. I can't believe it. We're just going to pull those pins out. And I said, well, why is it hurting? And he said, well, your body's rejecting the metal all of a sudden. And so he pulled them out and my hand was swollen and yucky looking <laughs> and all right I, so kim hold on yeah. before you okay. like, hold this because people are okay like, wait a minute so right. i'm going to do my best to queue up these pictures and i think i have queued them up in the proper order so kim let's see what we've got here okay so boy that's not can you see anything no it's okay. too low okay hold on just a second Make okay a little smaller so let's there we go. This a so, little bigger. This was right before the patches. This is when I went in for one of my checkups, but I wanted to show you what these pins look like. They went way down inside my hand. That and they looks left, extremely painful. Yeah, and it's disgusting. And they left it that way because they didn't want to have to permanently leave metal in if they didn't have to. So these are called external pins. They go way down inside, hold the bone together. And then when it's healed, they pull them out, which is what he did. They grab those little hooks and yank. Felt oh great. Gosh. Loved it. Okay. So and, let's, um, hold on. Let me see here. Let me stop sharing on this one. Okay. And then let's go to uh, the big fat red one. everyone. <laughs> this, now this is the next one. We don't want to make a little bigger so everybody can see this. Okay, so Kim, can we all see each other here? I can see you. Okay, uh-oh, wait a minute. Where did it go? We lost the picture. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, oh, let's see here. Where did it go? That's not good. Okay, we got a pin picture. Yeah. Let's go ahead and look at this one. How about this, Kim? Can you see this picture? Nope. Can't oh see anything. Goodness. Just you. Well, that's not good. What's the problem? <laughs> well, I can start explaining. Yeah, hold on. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. All right. So let's um let's look at this one, Cam. Should we look at this one with the other pens? Sure, go for it. But it won't show that one. So go ahead and let us know what's happening here. So anyway, um, the day that I went in because it was hurting so bad, he said, wow, your knuckles really healed faster than we expected. We're going to go ahead and take the pins out. And I got home. My hand was so swollen. It was hot. It was hurting so bad. It was just shooting pains up my arm. And I had asked him if it was infected. He said, no, no, it's inflammation because for some reason your body just started rejecting metal. And so I got home, I'm in pain and I just not knowing anything yet really about the patches. I just went in and I thought, I'm going to stick one on my hand and see what happens. So I put an X39 on my poor little swollen hand. I bet you within probably 15, 20 minutes, I didn't have any more pain. The next day when I got up, my swelling was half the size. Probably within two days, it was all the way down. The, hot, the heat was gone. The red was gone. And the two little scars that were sticking out from where the pins were, 
they look kind of weird. And I thought, oh God, these are going to be terrible. They're going to scar forever. They were gone within a week. And I went back for my two week checkup and the um, nurse practitioner said, oh, I'm so glad you've been going to physical therapy. You can make a fist. And I said, well, I haven't been to physical therapy yet. So I wow. didn't have to go to physical therapy. And the other thing was, I don't need surgery on my foot because the tendon that was so badly ripped that they were going to have to go in and wrap it with uh, synthetic tendon cord or whatever, it's healed on its own. I, I don't have any more problems with that tendon. So and, Kim, everyone saw the pictures. Hold your hand uh -huh. up. Hold the hand up. Now you guys saw how swollen her hand was and how... Like your fingers were like kind of doing their own thing. Yeah, I had broken these three fingers and this knuckle right here. So this whole thing was just huge and I could not move my fingers and it was pretty bad. Your hand looks totally different. I know. I, and you can make a fist? Yep. Amazing. I That's could amazing. in two weeks. I could two weeks after that day that he took the pins out and I put the patch on. I could make a fist right away. So in two weeks, I went back and she was shocked that I could make a fist. Wow. So let, so, me, ask you, let me back up just a minute. Okay. You broke your hand, you broke your foot, you didn't need surgery on your foot because of how long had you been wearing the patches when all of this started happening? Can you remind a couple people? I had, um, I broke my hand on August 30th or that okay. was when my surgery was when they put the pins in. So it was August 30th. I started on my patches on September 11th. I was supposed to be in the pins and cast for six weeks. It was probably a week and a half after I started patches that they took the pins out and said my knuckle was healed. And the x-ray just showed that it was in great shape. So I was already bending my fingers and everything before my six weeks was even up. The tendon, the tendon in my foot, that happened a year before, but it had progressively gotten worse. And I went to step down out of my car one day and I heard something snap and my foot dropped. I couldn't even get up. So I called my husband on the cell phone and he came over on the golf cart, helped me into the car because I could not get in. I couldn't use my foot at all. It was just hanging there. And I thought I broke something like a bone. I went to urgent care and they found nothing broken. So they said, you're going to have to see a specialist because it's probably tendon or soft tissue. Well, when I went to the um, orthopedic surgeon, um, they had me in a boot for a while. And then they said, well, it's a torn tendon and it's so bad. It's just hanging by a thread. You're going to have to have surgery. And I said, I'm not doing that right now. I got to go swimming with my grandson. So I stayed in the boot for a while and um, that was the only way I could walk was with the boot. But what happened to my fingers and my arm, because I had broken my wrist too, was I fell off the crutches because I don't know how to use crutches and I hate them. So I fell off of them trying to get a piece of cheesecake. And that's how I got hurt. <laughs> so that's, wow. that's my story. Well, yeah. well, okay. So let me ask you a few more questions. Number one. The symptoms of fibroid, I think a lot of people experience this mm -hmm. element or yes. ailment, I should say. How long had you been experiencing that in your life prior to starting the patches? Because I think a lot of people with the pain and everything that goes with the symptoms of that, like how long, had you, like even the back pain, how long yeah. had you been experiencing all these things prior to? Knowing what I know about it now, I think for a very long time, I think it was something I probably had as a kid or in my 20s, but it answers a lot of questions as to why I have all this back pain and neck pain and, you know, problems with my like headaches or eyes or any of these weird things. Because when you look it up, there's like over 200 symptoms and it's like, aha, there's the problem. And wow. it kind of jacks up your hormones and things too. So, you know, you go to one doctor, you're getting treated for one thing. You go to another, you're getting treated for something else, but nobody puts it together and says, right. oh, this is because of this. And the, you know, and that's how we end up getting trapped in the right. system. So you're 68 years old. How do you feel now? Fabulous. I feel Fabulous. great. And 
honestly, before I started on the patches last year, I felt like I had gotten to a point where it was taking over mm -hmm. um, the fibromyalgia because um, I'm kind of on the go all the time. I don't, I'm not one to sit around and do nothing. So I had all kinds of things going on. I'm a realtor. I'm busy. I'm out and about. I've got um, all my clubs and things that I get involved in um, and now LifeWave. So I'm busy all the time and it was getting to the point that it's hard to be sociable when you feel terrible and you're trying to be happy and have a good time and put a smile on your face and not whine or let anybody know you don't feel good, you know, and I hate right. that. So I, I would go, sometimes I would just cancel on somebody because I just couldn't go. And then when there's a bad day, um, that's where you're just down. You, you don't have any, um, you know, cognitive abilities, almost it's like foggy brain. It's just like nothing comes together. I'm, you know, I had like vertigo, different things would happen, you know, right. and it would be almost impossible to drive or socialize. So it was really starting to get to me. And I was very upset about it because I thought I'm too young to be stopping now and I'm not going to yeah. sit around in bed or in a wheelchair or something like that. And so this came along right when it needed to. And, it's funny um, how that works, isn't it? I know, right? Yeah, because honestly, I had heard about LifeWave many, many years ago, but I kind of poo-pooed it off because I thought it was another supplement or something, and I was already into that kind of stuff, and I just didn't listen. And now that I know what I know, I wish I would have listened yeah. then. No, I love that. And and I love that, that you know, you, you are living your best life. Y'all, I went to Arizona and I visited with these ladies and they are non-stop. They are very active. I mean, you guys just go, 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 go. And I feel like that's everybody should be living that way. So, yeah. well, Kim, I, you know, I know things are constantly changing for you. Like there's yeah. other things that we need updates on. So we're going to have to have you come back. If I have two more it. minutes, I can tell you something that's well, more recent. You have two minutes. I'm going to give okay. it. Okay. So my it. most recent thing was, and I've told this story a few times, but I a uh, couple months ago, I was out back. I lit the grill, went in the house. I got busy, forgot I did it. And then I thought, oh, I got to put my steak on. I go out there and there's no heat. So I lift the lid and push the button. It blows up in my face, pushes me backwards, and I fell because I tripped over the rug and I fell on my elbow, same arm, by the way, fell on my elbow and my whole um, forearm was burned. And my husband said, I'm going to take you to the urgent care. It looks like it's going to start blistering and it had bumps. And I said, no, I'm not going. It's too embarrassing. I've been there too many times. So I was hurting so bad. I couldn't even move my arm. So I go inside and he said, do you want ice? And I said, no, I want patches. So I get in there and I, I just thought, I'm going to try this. These are experiments. So I put an E on and an X39 on there and I kept it on the whole day. The swelling was like out to here, if you could see me. It was like yeah. out to here. It was about halfway by the time I went to bed. And when I got up the next morning, you could not even see where there was a burn. There was nothing there and it didn't hurt. There was no blisters. It wasn't red. It wasn't crunchy. There was nothing there. It took wow. about a week for all the swelling to go down and my bruise never went into all the beautiful colors. It went straight to green and over with. Wow. That's incredible. God, that's incredible. <laughs> Libby's up here clapping for you. Like, she's like, yeah, well, I mean, Kim, I mean, you know, it's, it's funny because we can't stop things from happening. Things are always going to happen in some form or right. fashion, especially when we're out there living our life and no one should be in fear of just going out there and living and wow I didn't even know that that's oh I didn't tell you I thought I told you no. I think I told Leah maybe I told Leah yeah maybe you did. <laughs> well listen we I can't thank you enough for coming on and Thanks. sharing this I mean every time you share your story I know it touches somebody and um I'm very 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 grateful thank you oh you're welcome anytime <laughs> Bye, everybody. Okay, you guys. So that was amazing. I mean, Kim's an amazing woman. Um, but I'm I'm really excited. I just spent 10 days with uh, Miss Charlene, and I was trying to think, who could we have come in? And she's got an incredible story. So Charlene, I know that you are 
unmuted and you're ready to go. So just like Kim, introduce yourself. Give us that snapshot, that snapshot of what life looked like prior to you being exposed to this technology. And what are you experiencing? Because it's a lot. Yes. Hi, everybody. I'm Charlene Saylor, and we live in Kansas City. And we have been on the patches for almost two years, just probably three months shy of that. And it's completely changed every aspect of our life in every way. Um, <clears throat> I was very, very ill um, before I started the patches. Uh, about three years ago, I almost died. I literally had uh, my body just shut down. I lost over half of my hair. Um, I was in chronic, chronic pain, my adrenals crash. And now looking back, you can see, you know, what was going on, but I had been in pain for so many years. I had chronic migraines, um, neck pain, back pain. I had nerve pain down my leg. I couldn't sleep on my left side for years. And so I was taking insane amounts of <clears throat> ibuprofen, anti-inflammatories. I was taking 20 to 30 Advil a day plus anti-inflammatories. Plus I was getting steroid injections in my neck just so I could function. And I, I was a wreck and it just all caught up with me. And I had a stressful situation in my life and I, my body just shut down and my kids and my mom didn't think I was going to make it. I literally did not think I was going to make it either. I didn't even have enough strength to stand up and shower. I I didn't even have enough strength to get up and turn the heat on in my house. I mean, I was, I really did not think I was going to make it. But thank the Lord, I came through that. And then God put in my path, Life Wave, which I'm just so grateful for every single day. And it's, changed me. And I mean, when you live in chronic pain for years and years and years, and you don't get any help. I mean, I was going to the chiropractor and at one point I was going to the chiropractor every single day, just so I could go to work and getting acupuncture and getting massages and, you know, the injections in my neck to just be able to function. And, um, and then, you know, then life wave happened. <laughs> And my migraines went away. Uh, my neck pain went away. I don't have to take Advil anymore. I, you know, I don't have to take 20 to 30 for sure, but I don't even have to, I mean, I don't have, I don't live in pain anymore. You know, I can sleep on the left side of my leg now. I don't have that pain. Um, and my neck pain is gone. Just all of my pain is gone, which is significant when you live in pain for so many years. So Charlene, I don't want to interrupt you, but I want to ask this because I know when we start talking about pain, I think everybody has lived in pain in some, some form or fashion, whether it's an injury or a long-term, like you say, chronic pain. Mm -hmm. We know you've been experiencing the pain for years. When you started using the patches, how soon? Because it's different for everybody. And that's what I'm trying to point out here. You know, Kim said, I'm going to give it five months, mm -hmm. right? And I love that Kim said that. How long did you use the patches till you started feeling a reduction or it just totally moving out? I was not a one patch wonder. It took me a few months. And honestly, probably the first six weeks, I felt nothing. Um, probably around the six week mark, I started having noticing that I was having a reduction in headaches. Um, and then, you know, it just progressively got better. Um, you know, the three, four, five month mark is really when I significantly started noticing, you know, the changes, right. but you know, I had so many other things going on inside of me, you know, my liver was shot, my adrenals were shot. I, you know, <laughs> I had a lot to fix. And so my body didn't see my pain as a priority. You know, my vital stuff was the priority. Yeah. And thankfully, and because I mean, my, my adrenals and my liver was bad. 
And now through, I'm sure you've got labs and things done. How, how are the adrenals functioning? How are, because again, we're talking symptoms here. What's yeah. going on? Like, what are you seeing now? So I, you know, beyond the pain, you know, my hair came back. I have more energy. I'm sleeping. My skin is better. I even had receding gum lines and my gum lines grew back in, which, you know, that's not anything I even was on my radar of being fixed in my body. But, you know, you're talking about age while ago, I'm 52 and I feel better than I ever have in my life. You know, physically, mentally, emotionally, I feel better than I ever have. And I, I don't remember even feeling this good in my 20s, but you know, I have more energy than ever, you know. Well, and- I just witnessed it the last 10 days. But anyway, with that said, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, you do, you look amazing, you know. And on the, the other thing, I had chronic urinary tract infections for years. You know, and I mean, I did all the natural stuff, you know, I I lean towards, you know, more natural alternative stuff and I did it all and, you know, nothing made them go away. And I will say this though, I have not had from the moment that I started wearing the patches, I did not have any more urinary tract infections. Like they completely went away immediately. So on, on that, you know, that was immediate, which was shocking to me, especially when you've, you know, had years of issues with that. And then all of a sudden you don't, you know, it's not a stress or worry in my mind. You know, I love that you said that too, because now we get back to pain, but there's all different types of pain. A urinary tract pain is different from a back pain or a nerve pain or something like that. And, and I think the thing is, tell me, tell me if you, what you think about this, you live with it for so long, it becomes your new normal. And yeah, I talk definitely. about this all the time because I feel people can fall into that trap very, very easily, right? It, it you just don't even realize. I, I didn't even, re- I mean, I felt bad, you know, but I didn't realize how bad I felt until I started feeling good. Right, right. Now, Noreen's asking, what patch did you start with? I only, for the first five months, I only wore the X39 and the Eon. Yeah, right those, yeah. those two, and then I started adding, yeah, those two. Everybody should start out with those. Right. I, I mean, that's just my opinion. Um, I think it's a great opinion. I, 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 I think that's where everybody should start, regardless of what they have going on. And when I explain a little bit later, you guys, how this works, I think you'll find out why Charlene and and even Kim said that as well so you know Charlene you've got a lot going on look where you are right now incredible you look incredible but like all of us we deal with parents we have parents that are going through things and none of us love to see our parents experience things right they were our rock for a really long time so you want to touch a little bit on your folks and and yes I, I'm telling you, it's, it's just been so amazing. So my mom has had asthma for years. She lives in Arizona. She has to live in Arizona because she needs the dry heat for her lungs. She needs the dry air. And she hadn't even been on the patches a year and her asthma breathing issues completely went away. I mean, it, it's astounding. And, um, a couple years ago, my mom had three heart attacks. She had to have two stints put in and she is completely off all of her heart medicine, including her blood thinners now, which, you know, that just doesn't happen in today's society. You just don't get off of those or they don't let you, but she's completely off of those. Um, she had two aneurysms and they stopped growing and have even started shrinking a little, but you know, the doctors say that's not possible, but um, you know, miracles happen. Where were these aneurysms? She had in her abdomen, aortic aneurysms in her abdomen and she had two of them. Um, so one of them was in the aortic arch 
And I forget where the other one was. That's okay. Just, I was so, just curious. Yeah. Okay. So, um, and then because of that, she needed, I mean, she needed knee replacement surgery and she wasn't a candidate because of the aneurysms. They were worried, you know, they had sure. rubbed her and stuff. And she does her knees now. She doesn't need to wear a knee brace. Her pain's um, gone from that. And we are pretty sure now that she actually has cartilage regrowing in her knee because wow. um, she went back to the doctor and that was, that was astounding. You know, she, you know, she had to, she was able to stop wearing her knee brace. Wow. And so just those things, I mean, you know, being able to breathe better, yeah. I mean, your asthma going away or your asthma symptoms going away, you know, I mean, how, how old is your mom? My mom is 76. So, you know, 76, you guys, you do not have the regenerative cells that we're going to speak about. Like, how is this possible? And, you know, and I think that's why the medical community is saying, too, when people get to a certain age, it's like there's no turning back. And I think what we're hearing constantly is people are making big U turns. Yeah, right? and there's hope. Yeah, it's giving people hope that do not have hope. I mean, you don't think in our society that, you know, a 76 year old is going to actually start getting better or regrowing cartilage or having things get better, you know, and just one little thing on my dad too. my dad um, started the patches and his cataracts shrank so much that they canceled his cataract surgery and he doesn't need his glasses anymore. You know, and my dad's in his seventies as well. Wow! So, I mean, that's hope. You know, you get hope and healing. It doesn't are matter. They excited? Are. are they just excited though? Oh, they they are. They <laughs> they're thrilled. I mean, they love it. I mean, every single day, we're just like so grateful to God for putting these in our life. Yeah. You know, it's changing my whole entire family's life. I mean, my kids, my husband. You know, he had broken both of his feet and tore both of his ankles. And you saw him last week. He walked all over, you know, and a few years ago, he was in a wheelchair because he had broken both of his feet and tore both of his ankles and he didn't heal and he didn't heal right. And so they said he would never get off his steroids, never get off his pain pills. And he's, he was off of all of that in four months and wow. his blood pressure went, when, you know, his issues went away with that. So, I mean, Things that they said he would never, ever heal from or get better from, his irregular heartbeat, all of that, gone. Wow. Well, and you're newly married. And you know what I love about this is that you're newly married, okay? Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people, or I hope a lot of people, we have, you know, we have up to 450, almost 500 on here tonight. So you're newly married. We all know what that's about, right? It's an amazing time. But you look at your parents, when you see people start to age in couples, whether you're 76 or whether you're 30, that can be very wearing on a relationship. Like that's hard. Um, do you see a different in your difference in your just your parents' relationship because they feel better, they're excited, they want to go do things? Are you seeing that in them? because they started going down to that path of, well, this is just how it's going to be. And now they're kind of coming back around. Do you see that? Yes. Yeah. It, it gives them hope again. Yeah. They're having fun. Yeah. They're having fun. Wow. All Life right. Everybody's different. asking the infamous question, just like it. what patches did your mom use? They want to know that. So she started out with X39 and Eon and, I put her on carnosine right away, her and my dad right away. Um, and so that's their, that was the, the three main ones that they started out with. Right. Wow. What would you say? Are you ever going to stop patching? I will never stop patching. I will never, 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 you know, because I want to, I want to keep feeling better. I want to stop the aging process. You know, like I said, I just got married. So, you know, we're having like the best time of our life right. and we feel great. And we're like, we're just getting younger, you know? <laughs> right. Right. Younger. No, I love it. And we did just spend a week. Leah was there. We all had an amazing time. Um, you know, we didn't stop. 
you know, we did not stop for 10 days. We rolled. Was, the walking was incredible. Like we didn't walking stop. Walking was incredible. We now know why everyone in Europe is so thin. <laughs> because <laughs> we walked everywhere. Yes. Charlene, thank you. You and Robbie are amazing. And I'm so excited for your folks. I had no idea. You and I have spent a lot of time together, but I didn't even know any of that. So I'm sure you have touched a lot of people. And I thank you. Thank you so much for, for being on here. I'm very grateful and, and to you and Kim. Thanks. Thank you. All right, darling. All right. So you guys, I think what's so great, you're hearing some amazing things, but I want to touch on another aspect of this because we have a few minutes and I was, uh, we were going to have a third testimony tonight, but that didn't work out. You know, you heard Kim and you heard Charlene talk about the things that have gone on either personally or within their families. And there's one category here that I don't want to I don't want to forget. I want to point it out. It, I just, it kept on coming up in my brain in the last couple of days. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to say something about this. Um, and this isn't about me. It's just about a situation, which is prevention. Like, I don't want you to think that you have to start this technology, this wearable light technology that I'm going to show here to you in just a moment that you have to have all these things going on, or you have to be of a certain age to start this. Because for me personally, it was about prevention. You know, all of us have things that we've gone through. Uh, many of you know, even before I heard about LifeWave, in 2018, I healed myself with stage three breast cancer. Who does that? Right, And I did that all through nutrition, all through a healing process or a journey that I like to talk about. And it was a very incredible experience for me. And I don't think a lot of people say, oh my gosh, that was the most incredible thing I've ever done. When you're talking about something like that. But fast forward and I heard about this technology for me, it was about prevention. It was about maybe whatever I had going on, or maybe I didn't have anything going on. I was healthy as a tact. But we always have things going on internally, or we're starting that process of aging regardless, right? Time is going by regardless. So when I heard about this technology, it was, how do I get that on my body? Because I want to keep my body functioning at its highest ability that it possibly can. Like I was not going to buy into the possibilities of maybe um, having something happen to me that maybe was going on in my family, or maybe I was witnessing somewhere else. So I bring this up in the category of prevention only for the sheer fact that with everything that you heard and the amazingness that these ladies shared and will continue to use this technology, you know, I don't want you to think that you have to have something big happening. You might want to be like Lee and I have used this technology for over three years. We will never stop using this wearable light technology. So I wanted to share that with you because we all have people in our lives that we care deeply about and we want everybody to be with us for as long as they can, but at their absolute best, at their absolute best. So for me, prevention, Kim, it came about to her at the right time. Charlene, it came about to her right at the right time. And so if somebody's invited you here today, for whatever the reason, maybe it's your right time, but you're probably kind of curious, what is this? And really, how does it work? And how can it do all these things that these ladies are sharing with you? So, you know, you guys, I love this technology because there's nothing going in the body, right? I'm about taking care of my body. The body is very powerful. And I had a front row seat to that. And it's about giving the body the tools that it needs to function at its highest capacity, whether that's exercise, whether that is your food, the nutrition that you're taking in, which is a massive 
uh, platform for any life, okay? So always take heed of what's going in so you can live your best life. But what these ladies spoke about tonight is a little patch about the size of a quarter. That's it, you guys. But the beautiful thing about this patch, it's a little different than maybe what you're used to hearing about. We're all used to transdermal patches. We've seen them, they all come in all shapes and sizes. You can put them on your lower back, on the back of your arm. You see them, people wearing them all the time. The thing about those transdermal patches is that they have a substance or a solution or a chemical or an herb on them that when you place the patch on your skin, there's something actually penetrating through the skin and entering the body, going to work doing the things that it's promised you to do. Weight loss patches, balance your hormones patches, let's quit smoking patches, right? The list goes on and on. But I want you to know that this patch right here is non-transdermal, meaning nothing is going in the body. Absolutely nothing is penetrating through your skin, entering the body, going to work on whatever is promised, okay? So let me show you a little bit about this. When I say it's a Band-Aid, it's a Band-Aid. You just peel the back of it off and this is what it looks like. So you can see that it's very sticky on one side, very, very smooth on the other. But I want you to know the most important part of this little transdermal patch here is the center of it. This small piece of cloth, this gauze, this is where a solution is embedded okay, that helps the body activate its abilities to take care of itself like it did when you were in your 20s and 30s, okay? So in the center of this is a solution consisting of organic matter, okay? Organic amino acids, water, sugar crystals, and oxygen. Now, I want you to know that these are molecules. They are not things that we find in our kitchen, even though it kind of sounds that way, okay? But these are molecules. And when these molecules come together, they form what we love to call in the field, a lattice structure. It's a very tight weave and it becomes reflective like a mirror. So I want you to kind of get that image in your head, a mirror and how it reflects. Well, all of you know, if you were to touch your chest right now, we're very warm. And depending on where you live, like Arizona, oh my gosh, Kim, I don't even want to know how hot it is there. It was blazing hot when we were in Greece. I live in Florida, but I know many of you live in cooler areas. Kim, 112 today, yikes, right? But we are low level infrared light or heat. We're always admitting, right? And that light permeates off our bodies anywhere from two to four inches. You cannot see it unless you're wearing night vision goggles, okay? Remember, when then you start beaming and you can see all the different colors the body is radiating. Well, because of this structure in the middle of the patch, when I place this patch on my skin, it's using my body as an energy source. Okay, so the light or the heat that I'm admitting bounces off the center of this patch. But when it bounces, it bounces back towards my body in a very specific wavelength of light. Now, you guys, Stacy says this all the time, it cracks me up. When I placed this patch on my skin, you didn't see bolts of light start coming out of my chest, right? You can't see anything. But I can tell you the minute I put this patch on, it is going to work and I cannot feel that, but it's going to work resetting a third of the genes in my body. And when this process starts to take place, it's raising a peptide that we were all born with called GHK copper peptide. Now you guys, I encourage you the minute we get off here is go to PubMed and research and, and jump in a little bit and read about GHK copper peptide or GHKCU. This peptide, you guys, is responsible for some incredible things for our bodies. But like all things, as time goes on, those processes 
start to diminish. We don't want them to diminish. We want to keep them vibrant and vital. That peptide, when you read about it, you'll notice that it is responsible for activating and mobilizing stem cells in the body. It's also great for cognitive issues, cardiovascular issues. You heard uh, Charlene talk about her mom and her heart, okay? But it's when we raise this peptide that we're able to kick up and mobilize and get moving again the regenerative cells in which we were born with, those master cells that we started with. Now you heard the different ages of people that they shared tonight, but I want you to remember this, this is big. You're born with an abundant amount of those master cells, those regenerative cells, right? That's their job. By the time you're 30, 35, you've got maybe half, not so much. By the time you're 60, 65, you've used up anywhere between 80 to 90% of those master cells, of those regenerative cells. Now, you heard Charlene, her mom's 76. Her body shouldn't be able to be doing what it did, but we offered a tool to the body to help it get back to functioning in the matter like it did when she was younger. Now, I want you to go to a website because you're going to love this. After you get off PubMed, looking at GHK copper peptide, I want you to go to startx39now.com. We've got some incredible clinical studies in there, over 90. David Schmidt holds over 150 patents. Some of those are in there, too. I want you all to dig in there if you want. If you're a digger, get in there. But think about Charlene's mom just a second. Every six weeks using this patch, the heart, the cardiovascular system is able to reverse that functionality by eight weeks. Every six weeks. Kim was going to give it five months. Charlene was going to give it her timeline. Her mom's, Charlene, would you say your mom's been patching for a year now? Right? Almost a year. Yeah. Why would her mom stop knowing that the issues that she's had, that she gives her body the ability to reverse that cardiovascular functionality by eight weeks? But she's got to put this on every single day. So understand this is a compounding effect. This is day after day, week after week, month after month. And maybe you're going to be like Leah and I and those of us who have been patching for several or a few years. We'll never stop. So the recommended use timing here is one month's use for every decade of life. So, you know, Laura, I'm 60. Do I just patch six months? Well, I'm going to say you're going to patch for six months and let's just start looking at things. How are you feeling? The things that you wanted to address, where are you with them? If you get to that six month period and you feel absolutely amazing and you wanna stop, you can stop. I wouldn't, but you absolutely can. Does that mean you're gonna lose all the regenerative properties that you've gained? Absolutely not. The body does not work that way. It does not work that way. But what will happen, you guys, is that the aging process will begin again. And why do I say that? Well, not to bring Leah and, up and I again, but we've been patching for three years. You guys, the functionality of my body is that of a 30-year-old woman because I've been patching for so long. I am 61 years old. I am proud to say that because I know the functionality of the inside of my body. That's what I want. I want to feel great. Oh my gosh, I have a five-year-old and a three-year-old here. I was in the pool all afternoon, jumping in the pool like a crazy woman. But what a gift for me to be able to do that with them. You know, especially after flying for 20 hours yesterday. Think about that. Right? Leah's laughing. 20 hours, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Well, my flight from, from uh, Rome was 10 hours to Detroit. I didn't think I'd ever get back to the States. Right? 
And a lot of people would say, I need a vacation from my vacation. I do not feel that way. I don't even feel like I have jet lag, right? So I want you to know that, you know, time is going to continue to go by anyway. So we have a choice here. We can continue to degenerate through that time. Well, who wants to do that? Or you can choose to regenerate. And you heard from these ladies tonight, all the little different things and large things that they had going on. And I think chronic pain is something that we hear about too much. And I feel like people are not getting the answers they need. I mean, Charlene was eating 30 Advil. No wonder her liver was failing her. You cannot keep up with that type of I don't want to say intervention, that's not the proper word, with, with that journey of consuming things that really aren't helping you. They might be masking the things that are going on. Well, we want to live better than masking our symptoms. We want to give the ability or the body the ability and the tool to get in there and regenerate, restore, and rejuvenate. And that's exactly what this technology does. So I want you to know, you heard me say that we just celebrated our 20th year anniversary of LifeWave. But this particular patch has only been in the marketplace for five years. And the growth that we have experienced because of this patch and the number of people that it is helping globally is absolutely astonishing. Now, is this the only patch we have? Absolutely not. You heard these ladies talk about the Eon patch. I wanna share this with you because everybody in the chat kept on asking, what patch do we start with? You guys, these are the two patches that we want you to start with. Okay, regardless of what you have going on, right? We're able to activate, mobilize the regenerative cells again, getting them up and moving, getting them back to work like they did for you when you were younger. But the Eon is a very important patch. You heard both of these ladies speak about it. This is a patch that reduces inflammation in your body, but throughout the body, systemically. And you know, if we walk out our doors, we have inflammation. If we have been diagnosed with anything, we have inflammation. And I want you guys to understand that our bodies do not understand the word diagnosis. I want you to know that when you have something going on, it is created by an imbalance in your body. And you're asking yourself, probably me saying that, well, how can that be true because of what I'm experiencing at this moment? How can it be that simple? You guys, it really is that simple. It's just that the imbalance continues to stay in place for a very, very long time, which causes bigger and different issues to appear over time. Charlene is a perfect example of that, right? So this technology is designed to bring the body back in balance, regardless of what you have going on. Now, the person that invited you here today or this evening, depending on where you're tuning in from, they'll be able to walk you through the support patches that you might need. But right now, I would share with you the two most important ones for anyone to start on, whether it's prevention or whether you have some items that you want to address would be the regenerative patch as well as the inflammation or the, the reduction of inflammation. Because I think, uh, I think it was either Kim or Charlene, I can't remember, my apologies, talking about mind, body, and spirit. I want you to know it's about, it's mentally as much as physically that this is gonna help you address. And I know we have family members that are going through things. So I want you to know starting them with this Eon patch is going to help in that area because not with just reducing the inflammation, we're dialing it back a little bit, bringing the body back in a more harmonious state, okay? A more parasympathetic state. And all of us 
are running around like crazy people in this fight or flight mode. You saw how stress affected Charlene. I can tell you guys, that's exactly why I got what I got. That's what put me on my path is stress. Stress is deadly. It can be. So that's why we like to put those two patches together. So with that said, I do want you to know that LifeWave is here to stay. We continue to grow. We continue. Oh my gosh, we have health technology coming out that is absolutely going to blow your mind. But it is something as time goes on that you'll be able to incorporate very well into your regimen of patches or patch that you might be wearing or using now. Those of you that are guests, I encourage you to go to that startx39now.com. Leah, if that's not in the chat yet, could you mind just putting that in there for everyone so they don't forget? I do encourage you to go look at GHK copper peptide and look at all the health benefits that it offers your body. You will be blown away. You know, my father had Parkinson's. I wish I'd know about GHK copper peptide. I wish I'd known about it when I went through my experience. I know so many family and fam family and friends that have had cognitive issues is becoming more and more heard of. So you guys, I ask you to take a more active stance in your health and well-being. I would love for you to get back with the person that invited you here this evening. Ask them more questions if your questions have not been answered here today. We all work together. We are all one team and we are here. We help everybody with all things that they have going on, whether it's through our teams or the clients that they have. And let them customize towards your specific needs or maybe your family needs because you don't just have to think about yourself. I know a lot of people like Charlene, whose families need this. So share with them what they have going on and dig a little bit into LifeWave, dig a little bit into this technology. We have many, many other patches, be it for hormonal issues. Maybe you want to stop some sugar cravings, maybe curb that appetite a little bit. But a big one is energy. And I want you to know if you've got things going on, the first patch that David Schmidt invented, which was Energy Enhancer, is an incredible patch that will ignite your cellular energy and get your body the ability to restore and regenerate very, very quickly, okay? It speeds up that microconchral energy that you have. I can't even get that out tonight. And it's very important, you guys. I have become a big advocate of the patch. Like I said, it was the first patch David invented, but it was invented for the Navy SEALs. And my attitude is it's, if it's uh, good enough for the Navy SEALs, it is certainly good enough for all of us out here to be wearing it. I wear it every day myself. So I want to thank all of you for being here, especially our guest, Charlene. I called her yesterday. I called Kim. These ladies stood up volunteered to be here with us today. And I hope that uh, you've gotten a lot out of their interviews. I know I have. And then always, Leah and I are like this all the time, helping each other out. So Leah, thank you for letting all these 500 people in. But you guys have an incredible week. We're always going to be here on Tuesday nights at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Dr. Stacy will be back next week. Just because you're here tonight doesn't mean you can't come back next night. Invite your friends and family uh, and let them hear about this and let them know, like Charlene said, there's hope. Kim, hope, right? So you guys have a great week and we will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.